Motorola Droid 3 take apart repair guide. The first step will be to remove the back battery cover. From there, you can remove the battery, SIM card, and memory card. Using a small ply tool, gently lift the tape covering the SIM card tray, exposing one hidden T5 screw. From here, we can remove all nine Torx T5 screws as shown in the video. screws released, we can use a safe open pry tool to begin lifting the clips holding the back housing in place. Once all the clips are released, we can remove the back housing. Note that you will need to lift certain sections of the decal to fully remove the back housing. Remove the two Torx T5 screws as shown in the video. Now, using a safe open pry tool, gently lift the pop connector and remove the camera. I need to release two more connections. One will be a lower pop connector for the slide flex cable, and the other will be the upper antenna cable. Now gently begin removing the motherboard, being careful that it's still connected by two pop connectors. Release both of these connections and remove the motherboard. Using a small pry tool, begin lifting away the power button flex cable from the housing. And now begin releasing all the adhesive, holding the power button flex cable in place. Slide the keyboard out and begin gently releasing the small bezel located around the keyboard. Use the safe open pry tool and work your way around all the edges, gently releasing all the clips.
carefully pull the slide flex cable through the slot in the housing. Use a small pry tool to gently lift away the metal cover covering the slide flex cable. This will be held in place with four pins. Gently release these pins and pull away the metal cover. Using a Torx T3 screwdriver, begin removing all five screws located around the keyboard. You may need to gently lift up on the keyboard or slide it into a better position to remove all screws. With all the screws released, you can now gently lift away the slide flex cable that is adhered to the backboard and gently fit it through the slot in the housing. Now fully remove the slide housing. Using a small pry tool, release the one pop connector located in the top right corner. Once the connector is released, you can now lift away the small circuit board located under the connection. Once the small circuit has been released, move over to the left side and release the small front facing camera as well as the rest of the flex cable including the speaker from the front housing. With all connections released, you can now remove the LCD screen with full flex cable. To replace the LCD screen, the first step will be to release the small ribbon located in the front of the device. Gently use a small pry tool to gently lift away the adhesive, holding it in place. You can now release the one jaw connector located in the top left corner. Simply release the back and remove the flex cable located inside. Flex cable is released, you can now gently peel away the full slide flex cable from the back of the LCD screen.
You can now replace the LCD screen. Prepare the glass touchscreen. Use a heat gun or hair dryer to begin heating the outside edges of the touchscreen and frame. Use quick movements around the outside edges for about 45 seconds. Once the adhesive is properly warmed, use a safe open pry tool to begin prying along the outside edges, lifting the glass touchscreen away from the metal frame. and reheat the adhesive if necessary. All the adhesive released, you now remove the touchscreen digitizer from the frame. Pull the touchscreen flex cable through the slot in the housing. You can now replace glass touchscreen digitizer.